Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Rick Roll. Alright, it's Monday and I'm getting ready to fly home to California on Friday for the Thanksgiving holidays. So today's just kind of a preparation day, getting some stuff done. One of the things I want to deal with is this. Um, I turned 55 a few months ago, which means I'm starting to become eligible to collect some of my pension and my retirement over the years. Um, I had 401k plans with both Disney and with Warner Brothers a long time ago. Um, actually, a 401k is the best decision I ever made. Even when I wasn't making a lot of money at Disney, it still made sense to put a little bit into it because the company matches. It, it's free money and it reduces your tax burden and all that. But now that I'm 55, these companies are contacting me and saying, you're now eligible to start cashing out some of that money. Well, I'm not ready to do that, but I also don't want to have my money in 50 different places. So what I've elected to do is take a cash rollover from all of my pension plans. Uh, I got one from Disney a couple months ago, and this is the one from Warner Brothers. It just came in the mail today. It's a nice little chunk of cash. It's basically my entire pension plan for the entire time I was at Warner Brothers. And what I'm going to do is roll it over to my IRA plan. Uh, my brother-in-law works at a, uh, an investment brokerage house and he's been managing my accounts for a couple of decades now and he's done very well by me and I've been talking to him about this and he walked me through the whole process of cashing this all out and I got the check today. So today what we're going to do is we are going to basically transfer this check over to my investment broker. now. My brother-in-law, he lives in Folsom, California, so I'm not actually gonna give it directly to him, but his investment brokerage house is nationwide, and it turns out they have a branch office literally just over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call my brother-in-law today uh, and talk to him because in order to do this and make sure there's no tax burden and nothing weird going on, uh, it needs to be coded a certain way when the check is received. Otherwise, I'll get a big nasty tax bill at the end of the year, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to call my brother-in-law right now, and we're going to start this process going. After that, uh, it's going to probably just kind of be a quiet day today here. Get a, get a few things done in preparation for the trip on Friday. And I don't know, maybe we'll do something. Maybe we'll just uh, not do something. So anyway, let's get going on this. Okay, so I got my 401k rolled over into my IRA. That actually went pretty smoothly. Um, I got a call from my brother-in-law and his like uh, office assistant, both uh, within a few minutes, uh, telling me that they had contacted the local office here, the same place I brought my uh, last IRA check over to, or last 401k check over to, and uh, got in there, got, you know, they got it taken care of the uh, the lady in there was waiting for me when I walked in. She says, oh, you must be Breck. And I said, you must be right. And uh, she had already had my records up and uh, got everything transferred over there. was in there about two minutes. She gave me a receipt and we are good to go. If, it's funny. It actually feels like I've actually accomplished something. And, and I really got to acknowledge to myself I haven't because, you know, while it seems like I have uh, doubled the money in my IRA in the last several months because of this. In reality, my portfolio isn't really any bigger than it was. It's just it's all in one place now rather than being spread over three accounts. Uh, so I think this is a good move. Um, you know, my brother-in-law has done very well by me over the last 20 or so years. He's uh, grown my investment very well. So I think the money will do well there and uh, and it will continue to grow. So that's a good thing. Also, I was kind of wandering around the uh, community here a little bit today and uh, apparently we have new management here. Um, uh, the lady who's going to be the uh, the manager of the apartment kind of came, you know brought me aside and said that they're gonna they're gonna do some big changes around here and they're gonna send people in into each of the apartments in the next few days to kind of evaluate things and see where the problem areas are. You know I kind of feel sorry for her. she's probably gonna regret gotten into this because this place is going to be a big mess. Because uh, like I said, my place is supposedly the showcase of the entire unit. And you've seen some of the things I've had to deal with. So anyway, um, I'm hoping they're going to come in over the next few days, 
rather than wait into next week because next week I'm not going to be here. I'd actually really like to be here when they do it because you know what? I've been here for about six months now. I know where the problems are and I can definitely point them in the right direction, tell them what they really should be doing and what's wrong. Uh, turns out that the uh, old apartment manager isn't going to be with us, so I guess she isn't part of the new deal. Um, I'm hoping to get rid of the maintenance people too. They're nice enough people, but you know, they're, they're the ones that fill drywall holes with caulking compound. They're the ones whose solution to everything is spray foam. So yeah, you know, they probably got to go to, and, and you got to get some people in here really know what's going on. Uh, it's been obvious that something's been going on for the last few months because they've been doing a lot around here to try and put, you know, lipstick on the pig, but you know, it's still a pig underneath. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, but you know, maybe things will get a little better here. You know, we are paying an awful lot of money for, you know, kind of a dump like this. So we do deserve better. So anyway, I don't know. Um, one more thing. Uh, I'm going to make a little trip out to First Street Cemetery today. It turns out I have a little follow-up on my Waco shootout vlog that I did a few days ago. Turns out one of my viewers uh, found the location of Tom Davis, the other person, the other person to die, the person who shot William Braun and then got shot himself. So we're going to go out to uh, the First, First Street Cemetery, which is where he is supposedly buried, and we're going to see if we can find the grave. So, you know, that'll be interesting too. So let's go do that. All right, we're back at the First Street Cemetery in downtown Waco. Now, you may recall I visited this place a few months ago, uh, right after I did the uh, Texas Ranger Museum, which is literally right over here. Uh, now, when we were here before, we were just kind of wandering around in general looking at the graves. But today, we're looking for a specific grave, that of Tom Davis. You may recall a few days ago, I did a video called Showdown in Waco that talked about the story about, a, about Judge Gerald uh, having a gunfight with a, a newspaper publisher and his brother in the streets of downtown Waco. And then about four months later, uh, a guy named William Cowper Braun having another showdown uh, where he, he uh, shot a guy named Tom Davis. Well... When I did the video before, I was unable to find out exactly where Tom Davis was uh, buried. We found all the rest of the graves of all the other key participants, but I was unable to find Tom Davis's. Well, it turns out one of my viewers, Jody Cake, uh, commented on that video and, and said, Hey, I found where, uh, where Tom Davis is buried. He's right here in the First Street Cemetery. So today we're going to come back and we're going to see if we can find his grave. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge, though, however, because uh, find a grave is unable to tell me exactly where it is in the cemetery. So we're just going to have to kind of wander around and look for markers and see if we can find it. Uh, but we know when he was born, when he died, and what the name on the tombstone is. So let's start looking for Tom Davis. Well, I've looked at every marker in here and have not had a whole lot of luck. Um, it's very likely that I walked right past it, but... The fact is, a lot of these grave markers are really badly deteriorated and you can't make na make out names anymore. So I'm going to kind of wander around the grounds a little bit and see if I can find an office. If so, maybe they've got a location where it is and they can pinpoint it a little bit and help me figure it out. But you know, this may be a bust, who knows, we'll try. So you may remember when I was here last time, I walked through this section here and uh, I just decided to take a quick scroll, scroll through here, see if this may be where it is, but this place is called Hebrew Rest, so it doesn't seem likely that a Baptist would be uh, buried in a Jewish cemetery, right? So, yeah, I don't know, I think we're just going to kind of have to give that up. We tried, like I said, it's, he's probably out here somewhere, uh, it's just no... Uh, you know, the, the marker is so deteriorated, I can't pick it out. And there doesn't seem to be an office around here that, uh, you know, seems that makes it look like this is an active cemetery. And they could go in and maybe see, hey, you know, can you tell me where this guy is? So, I don't know. We tried. It was still kind of a nice walk around here. So anyway, Tom Davis is in here somewhere. Um... At least according to Find a Grave, he's under the name Thomas E. 
and then I guess Tom is a nickname Davis and I guess he was a captain uh, in the Confederacy so you know I kind of looked around the area where the Confederate markers are and I just didn't see anything so you know we gave it our best shot but you know there was no no real indication on the on find a grave where he was or with or there wasn't even a picture of his marker so you know we gave it a shot we looked at every single grave in here and this is a big cemetery so can't say we didn't try so anyway that's all that I have for today um, sorry that was a little bit of a bust but I hope you enjoyed it anyway uh, thank you as always for watching and we'll see you next time on escaping the mouse good night